They believe everything was physical material. They didn't believe in soul or spirit or afterlife. They believe we were simply a collection of particles that formed us. We would live our lives, and then they would break down and go back into the the mix up for the mash up for the next creature to come and tap into. Democritus and Leucippus, um, in addition to coming up with this idea of atomic particles also had a, a version of evolution. Looking around and looking at the life forms they saw, they believed that that is not how they would have originally been. But they speculated that life probably came from the sea. Remember, the Greeks lived on the coast. They would have seen a lot of weird creatures, a lot of things that we don't have on the land. And they speculated that life probably came from the sea but it was not in the form we see life today. For example, a human baby, it, it takes a couple years for it to actually be able to survive, right, without a parent. Um, it, it takes a lot of nurturing, a lot of care and protection. Where other animals, as soon as they're born, within minutes, it, hours at the most, they're able to outrun predators. Like, like a wild colt or buffalo calf or something like that. So it's interesting that at some level of development, um, the higher, higher rungs of animals need longer care and provision by their parents. At least that's how the ancient Greeks were doing their kind of hierarchy in their brain, where other animals were completely viable the minute they hatched or the moment they were born. They, they could actually live on their own if they needed to. But definitely mammals, and when you get into the higher primates, and especially humans, we may meet, need years of nurturing and care. 